Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Really, that one song from Home Alone 2, I think it like plays at the end credits. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I've actually been referencing Home Alone 2 a lot as of late, and I haven't seen it since like Christmas last year. Why have I not seen it this year? I'm probably gonna have to figure out something to like watch Party It with somebody, but yeah merry christmas happy holidays how is everybody doing i know this is getting posted the day after christmas but that's just me i'm like literally always late to anything i am always late i am that friend it's like hey i will see you at seven and then you show up at 9 30. but you bring snacks so it curbs the anger and frustration welcome to manic media dream and today we are going to be unwrapping christmas presents so i am sort of disconnected from the world this christmas which honestly i kind of prefer uh because otherwise i just always have a very hectic winter and these are gifts that i have collected over the months that i just didn't have the heart to open because the way that i function is if somebody gives me a gift and they put time and effort and thought into that gift i will actually refuse to open that gift because just having that gift is a gift let me explain when i receive a gift from somebody that i care about there's like a jolt in my heart. I don't actually know how to describe it. Where I'm like, oh my God, this thing is too precious. I don't want to open it. And, the, and then those gifts just sit there and I look at them every now and then. And then I think about that person and I'm like, wow, that was really, really sweet of them. And I think that has like a lot to do with adulthood. I think once you become an adult, you get jaded and you learn so much about the world. Wow, definitely in the Christmas spirit, not me depressing everybody on Christmas. But I mean, it is the truth. The world is like dark and scary place. And so when you find good people in it and you get sincere responses from people, you hold on to that. There's an authenticity to it. And so I never get around to opening these gifts because just having them wrapped and kept safe is a really big deal to me but it's also interfering with me then enjoying these gifts and that's what their intention is so it's a balance that i'm i'm figuring out but you know over the years you you learn a lot you meet new people you you lose friends who weren't very friendly to begin with but you're here giving them the benefit of the doubt because you think everybody is a good person and then you very very much realize like you know, through life experiences that everybody is not a good person, which is why it's so important to be grateful for good friends when you find them or just good people when you when you find them. So that's something to be thankful for um, this, this holiday season is just to know, hey, I know good people and I'm so glad to have good people in my life. And so it's their presence that I am going to be opening with you guys. I had another bag and then and that ripped so to keep them collected so that they're not cluttered um I just have like a corner in my room where I just keep presents that I've just not gotten around to unwrapping or unboxing and let me tell you how ridiculous it can sometimes get so like for example chocolates I love these chocolates and I just haven't gotten around to eating them because I'm so appreciative and grateful for the thought that went behind these chocolates because i fully remember a friend of mine being like hey what do you like and me saying i like chocolates and then them following up with well what kind of chocolates do you like and i'm like well i really like these lint truffle chocolates and then they got me lint truffle chocolates like are you kidding me I know it sounds so simple, but bruh, you will not, like, people are so sketchy that when you actually find people who genuinely want to know, hey, like, what makes you happy? Let me get you something that makes you happy. I'm just like, I'm blown away. I know it's the simplest thing in the world. The world's just cruel, man. And so to me, it's just a very big deal to get something even as simple as chocolates. And also a trick to these chocolates is I never put them in the fridge. I never put them in the freezer, but I do enjoy them cold. So it gets really cold in my room, tragically. And so one of the things that I'll do is I'll put these by the window. When I wake up in the morning, there's like this oily thing in the middle of these chocolates that I don't like um, because they're, they're truffles. And if you put them by the window, that oil 
like gets solidified to the point where it's not like you're crunching into it like you know when you take like cookies out of the freezer like those girls got cookies out of the freezer and they're just super crunchy by refrigerating these in your room you get the perfect texture of like the inside being solidified and the outside being cold and i like that because then the inside isn't super cold which I, i'm not a huge fan of i actually like the inside to just be solidified somewhat a little lower than room temperature and the outside actually being cold. I just prefer it to be just below room temperature refrigerated, but in a room and not in a fridge. Moving on. So when it comes to non-perishable items, we have, and this is like the cutest thing. Oh my God, I can't wait to add it to my collection. And usually like my collections like over there, I'm sure you can like see them sometimes. There's like a little raccoon, a fox and a lobster. I love plushies and I was really, really excited when a friend of mine got me this plushie. Oh my God, is it not the cutest thing? It's like, it's, it's a little, I don't even know if it's a fox or what, it, what, what, what is it? But it's, it's like, it's a mammal wearing a mammal onesie. Like that's so, I don't, that's so adorable. And like, I, listen, I love plushies because they're just so squishable and they're just so cute and cuddly. And it's it's just, it's very nice for my friends to know me well enough to be like, okay, he would just like a plushie. Um, and yeah, I just, I think it's it's the squishiest, cutest thing and I will find some place for it. I, I, I don't keep all my plushies in the same place. Like I'll have them scattered. Um, like, I, I'm sure you guys have seen my Scooby-Doo plushies and my Mickey Mouse and Tigger plushies in my other videos. I like alternate where my plushies will go, so I get to find this guy a little home for Christmas, which I'm really excited. Look at his little arms! Oh my god! Oh, oh, this is, this is really sweet. I need to, yeah, I love my friends. All right, the next one I'm actually so excited about because this is something, and this is what makes a gift a good gift is when it's something that somebody will get you that you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself. And I think that's what makes it a great present. So this actually fits the bill so well. Like, listen, I love Child's Play. You guys know about my Child's Play videos and my Chucky videos, etc. I'm a huge Chucky fan, but his face is freaking horrifying. I personally don't find it horrifying um, at this stage. I've been watching Child's Play since I was very young when I should not have been watching it. But things happen and you catch it on cable and then it's just downhill from there. I just never in my life thought I would ever own a Chucky t-shirt. Um, and now, like, look at that. How cute is that? I mean, it's freaking horrifying, but I... It is just so adorable. It's like, I love the comedic aspect of it. You have like the most horrifying face since Regan and the Exorcist. And then it just says free hugs on it. And it says wanna play. This is like the perfect shirt for me to have considering the roommates that I live with because they're absolutely horrified of Chucky. So I don't know. I think it's like the right conflicting message, especially like the free hugs part. Like I'm somebody who does not like being touched. So I feel like there's so many messages that they would get from me just wearing the shirt around the house. Um, I don't know, I'm really excited for the reactions that I'm gonna get to this. And I appreciate my friends knowing me enough to know that I would never buy a Chucky t-shirt, but would gladly accept one if it were given to me. 11 out of 10, just, I love it. All right, and then another present, sorry, this one's actually very, very cute. Uh, we have a little notebook. Are you freaking kidding me? I know a lot of people have like moved on to technology, so they'll just use their phones or their iPads or their laptops or whatever. For me, it's kind of a different story. I love notebooks. They help keep me grounded. I get distracted very easily. And when I have something like a laptop or a phone, I will be on like 300 different apps and it interrupts my train of thought. With a notebook, all I have is that literal notebook in front of me. So I really appreciate this present because I have like a ton of notebooks and I, I use them for like to-do lists. I use them for like ideas. I use them for a whole bunch of things. I also like that I can draw in them. So if I have an idea, I can like visualize my thoughts, 
where it gets difficult on a phone. And I know on an iPad, you can obviously use an Apple Pencil. I just feel like if something isn't broken, don't fix it. And the concept of having a notebook and then having a pencil is so classic that I don't, my brain works in a way where it's used to that kind of learning. And I'm able to retain knowledge a lot better using paper and pen as opposed to electronics. And there's studies on that too, if somebody wants to get scientific about it, but I just really like notebooks and the fact that you're adding this novelty aspect of toast to notebooks makes me love it even more. So this way I just get to be excited about my to-do list. I literally like, I love cutesy stuff like this. I know I'm very dark, I know I'm very horror oriented, but weirdly enough, underneath the dark jadedness, there's a marshmallow. Odd balance. Um, loving this. So yeah, get somebody a notebook. They will they will appreciate it. And then my final Christmas present, which is one of the most adult gifts I have ever gotten in my life. Like this is how you know you have entered adulthood. When somebody asks you, hey, what can I get you as a present? And your response is, hmm, I don't know what I like. And they're like, well, no, you have to tell me what you like. You gotta like something. And then your response is, oh, I like eggs. And like, what is a person supposed to get you if you like eggs? I'll tell you what they're gonna get you. They will get you a literal pan. They will get you a pan because that is what adults do, apparently. Adults like eating eggs because they enjoy being well nourished. And when they share that with their friends, they are given pans on Christmas. I am so, you don't understand how grateful I am for this present. Like, it's like getting socks on your birthday. There are no words. I actually don't know how to describe how appreciative of, I am of this present. Like, I actually need this, like, to live and function. And somebody gave it to me. I'm actually, I'm. you know what? I need to text this person. I, I'm honestly, you know what? I'm not even going to open this on camera. I am going to save that for another video. I'm literally going to open this in that other video and I'm going to make some eggs or an egg sandwich. We'll see how that goes. So tune in, hit that subscribe button, bestie. Like we are going to, honestly, my heart right now is like mad respect, mad respect. Th this, this is what you get your friends. This is what you get your adult friends when you're like, hey, I want you to be well nourished. Like you have no idea. And I've held off on opening this specifically because I'm just like, wow. Somebody gifted me a pan. How many people in their lives can say, you know, somebody gifted me a pan, not because it was my wedding, but because they were just like, hey, you like eggs, have a pan. Really and truly, I'm feeling incredibly blessed this holiday season. Wow, wow. There is a lot to be grateful for. That's all I'm gonna say. That was my Christmas present unboxing. Don't worry, there's more presents where that came from. And there's some presents that I got for myself. So I will also be unboxing those. So I will see you tomorrow with whatever video I have planned. Yeah, stick around for the 12 days of Christmas event and I will chat with y'all later. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye.